There are four different methods of navigating within OneDrive. One, following the breadcrumbs. Two, returning to the root of your OneDrive. Three, clicking on the Office 365 logo. And finally, using the Open in Explorer button. And note, using your browser's back button is not one of the recommended methods. Navigation method number one, following the breadcrumbs. I'm currently at the root of my OneDrive. I'm looking at documents. In order to open the folder for others, I simply click on the name. And notice at the top, it shows me in documents is a folder called for others. That is our breadcrumb trail. If I in turn want to open the folder called for tech facts, again, notice the breadcrumb trail across the top. To reverse that, so for instance, to return to four others, I simply click there, and that's the contents of four others. And now in order to return to the root or documents, I would simply click on it. Method number two. Assuming I had navigated into four others, and in turn, four tech facts, a rapid way to return to the root of your OneDrive is to simply use the ribbon bar button OneDrive and you're immediately placed back at the beginning of your OneDrive or also known as the root. Method number three. Assuming you had navigated into for others and in turn for text, let's say I wanted to edit the word document at the top of the list. When I click on that I would now completely enter Microsoft Word's web-based application and notice gone are the ribbon bars across the top for Microsoft Office 365. So instead, to return back to my OneDrive window, simply click on your name in the upper left and that returns you back to OneDrive. The third and final method is no matter where you've navigated within your OneDrive, if you'd like to open this within a Windows Explorer window, simply click on the tab Library and use the command called Open with Explorer. When you do that, it takes a few seconds, but it will open a Windows Explorer window. And if you'll notice, these are exactly the same things. The advantage of opening this in a Windows Explorer window is you can now drag into the Explorer window greater than 100 objects and those objects can be folders including nested folders meaning folders inside of folders inside of folders so this greatly facilitates moving large numbers of files and folders to your OneDrive To use the Open with Explorer button, the requirements are you have to be running Internet Explorer 9, 10, or 11. And note, those only work with Windows 7 and 8. So if you're still running Windows XP, you won't be able to use this button. Your tech facilitator can assist you in updating your copy of IE. You must also have the Microsoft OneDrive hotfix installed. We're about to watch a video now of how you would go about installing that hotfix. In order to run the patch, go to your Start button, All Programs, Utilities, and the name of the patch is OneDrive Hotfix. Simply click on that and it will silently install. Note, if you have two versions of OneDrive, try running both of them. One of them may error out, but the other one should fix it.